Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Lexi and today we're doing a whip and chat. If you're new and you don't know what whip stands for, whip stands for work in progress. And these videos are just a little chance for us to get together, work on our whips, and have a little chat. <laughs> I kind of tell you what is going on in my life and if you want you can tell me what's going on in your life. Comment down below. Let me know what's going on. What are you working on? Are you participating in any events? Um, tell me something good that happened to you this week. Tell me, you know, are you struggling with anything? Uh, are you planning to do anything cool this weekend? Are you doing anything cool for Halloween or upcoming holidays? Just let me know what's going on and how you're doing. So I will chat to you about what I'm working on, what I'm what I've got going on and how I've been doing and yeah so I am working on Magnolia's Castle and it is this picture right here and I'll pop a little picture up in the corner so that you can see what it looks like as I'm working on it so this one is by does it say on here it's from Diamond Art Club and it's by Moonbound Studio and I just love it. This is the canvas that I chose to do for Halloween. Not typical Halloween colors, but I just love how it has these like spooky ghosts and spirits around it. And this is the first canvas that I have done from DAC that has the fairy dust drills in it. And I'm loving them. I'm obsessed. I am so <laughs> obsessed. So. I'm very, very, very excited to be working on this canvas. I'll show you what I'm using as far as accessories goes. I feel like I haven't done this in a while, so I'll show you what I got going on for accessories. I have uh, this super, super cute diamond painting drill tray from Diamond Painters Anonymous. This is one of my favorite trays of all time. I love her trays. I have two of them. This is... Uh, one of them that I have and it is this cute cat shaped tray and it's got these beautiful hand placed rhinestones on it so I'll link her down below I have two pens that I'm using this black and white one with stars and moons in it is from peachy keen pens I absolutely love all of their pens I have a ton of them <laughs> from their store and then this one is from butterfly effects Ooh, butterfly effect wears and it's a black uh, I think it was called black onyx was the name of this colorway and I absolutely love their pens as well I have a blackberry preserves pretty placer from pretty placers this is from Etsy I just have a little cutter to cut my plastic sheet this is from Timu I have a trinket tray to put all of my tools on. This is one that I made. I have trinket trays available in my store, LexiSparkleCraft.com. This one was called Fright Night, and it's just a beautiful mixture of purple and black. So I've just got that sitting here so I can put all my stuff and they don't roll into my clue, you know, on my uh, canvas. I've got a little cover minder that also doubles as a trash minder. It's this spooky little ghost, and he just, um, I made this as well, and these are available in my shop, but I realize it's a little bit close to Halloween, so, you know, with shipping and everything, it might not be <laughs> the best time to buy one, but um, I put all of my trash drills in this little guy to hold on to him while I'm working, so he's got a little magnet, and he just sits there and holds the cover back. <laughs> So I think that's it. Oh no, I've got some other accessories. I have a funnel. I will link this down below. This was from, um, goodness, I, the name escapes me at this, at this moment. I will link them down below. Uh, this is just a little funnel that pops on the drill containers. And then that way it's easier to fill up your drill containers and these drill containers I got on Amazon I will link them down below so that's it that's everything I'm using today no that's not true <laughs> in my pens I have glue dots just good old glue dots they're the mini glue dots 
These are, uh, I just get them on Amazon. I'll link them down below. And then in my multi-placers, I have some Pity Putty. This one is called Candy Shop. I thought it was perfect for Halloween. It literally smells like uh, just a big old bag of sugary candy. <laughs> it smells delicious. Uh, so I've got that in my multi-placers. Okay, now I think I'm ready <laughs> to proceed. Okay, so let's get working here. I'm just kind of working on a random section here um, on my canvas. There's some cute little ghosties in this window here that I want to get to, so I'm just working on a, a random section. Okay, so let's pick a color. I am not going to be done with this by Halloween, and that's okay. That's kind of my normal, <laughs> it's kind of normally how it goes for me. Uh, I'm usually behind on things, but it's all good. It's not a race, you know? So... Well, I don't know that I have too many updates for everybody. I thank you everybody for all of the lovely comments and well wishes that everybody left on my last video. I did talk very briefly about how my grandpa passed away recently. And so I've just been kind of going through that. And thank you everybody that left very nice comments. And, uh... Yeah, that's just kind of what's been going on. Um, I've been working on just orders for the shop. Thank you everybody who has been placing orders through the shop. I, I've been loving working on orders. I have not opened up custom orders yet just because life has been kind of crazy with everything going on. I've been working a lot of overtime still. Like a couple weeks ago, I had to cancel a live stream because of overtime. Um, just kind of working a lot and focusing on that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah. So um, the reason that I'm not taking custom orders is because those do take more time versus the trays that are like one or two colors or some of the other trays that I just know how to make uh like I don't know the ones that I'm more comfortable just like being able to make uh with customs they take more like time and planning and I don't want to rush through those I want to be able to give those time and so that's why I'm not taking custom orders at the moment um, like these type of trays, I know how to make these well, and I can make them, like I don't feel rushed when I make those, I know how to do them, I can, uh, you know, I can make them, like, with my eyes closed. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, I, I know them well, I know how to make these, uh, custom trays, like, they take planning, they take, uh, like extra thought you just really have to make sure that they're uh that they turn out well like things like that and so that's why I'm not taking custom orders at the moment hopefully I don't know I don't know when I will be able to it will really just depend on how things are going uh in life so I'm not sure but they're those orders are are still on hold so uh I am looking forward to the holidays. I'm hoping that I will get to see my family for the holidays and um, just really looking forward to, to spending time with family. I was looking forward to, to Halloween and I feel like it kind of snuck up on me, but I did get to decorate my house for Halloween and I had my mom here and that was really fun. You know, we got to go out to eat, and we had a, I think I told you guys this already, we had like a little campfire, <laughs> and uh, just fun stuff like that. So, but it was cute that, I, you know, I got to like decorate my house for Halloween, and my mom got to see it, so that was really cool. So now I'm looking to uh, start decorating for, you know, like Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that coming up, so, yeah.
I'm getting more, uh, well, I'm hoping <laughs> to get more time to do crafting stuff because my husband is hunting. And so I've been getting some new craft supplies. I've been getting into sort of like scrap, not scrapbooking, but more like junk journaling and creative journaling. So I bought some stuff on Timu, which I was hoping to do a haul on my channel. I don't know if people will be interested in that or not because my channel is mainly, you know, diamond painting, but I don't know. I'll go for it. <laughs> we'll try it. We'll see if people like it or not, but I don't know. It's just crafty stuff. Um, I got like some papers and some stickers and some... Uh, I don't know, different bits and bobs, you know, <laughs> for uh, journaling. And then I kind of talked about this on my live stream last week. I signed up for uh, Silk and Sonder, which is kind of a subscription service. Well, it is a subscription service <laughs> where they send you a journal every month. And you can use it as either a journal or a planner or both, uh, that type of thing. And so I've been working on that and using that to kind of help me with uh, just like taking more time to like be mindful and actually journal. Because what happens is, and I think I saw somebody say this the other day where like they'll start to journal, but then like they don't keep up with it and I'm guilty of that. I do that all the time where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna journal, it'll be good for me. I want to do this. And then I start and then like, I just kind of don't know how to keep up with it. So this Silk and Sonder thing is helping me with it because it's not like traditional journaling where you, or what I think of when I think of journaling where you just sit and write page after page it's more like um you can plan out your week and you can track different things like you can track self-care you can track your mood you can track you know what you're eating your meal plan your exercise your water intake things like that if you want to but you don't have to uh you can remind yourself to read every day. You can uh, do like mindfulness and grounding things in it. So there's lots of different things you can do with it. And then what I like about it is they have little um, Zoom calls that you can go to where they help you go through the journal and set up your week and actually show you examples of how to journal and how to plan and give you ideas of how to use the planner. So I've been liking it so far and I might do a video about it. Um, just because it's been kind of helping me recently, just, I don't know, be like more mindful and really kind of make sure that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. Like, you know, taking medicine and taking vitamins and like, you know, going for walks and like doing stuff like that. So yeah, that's been pretty good. And let's see what else have I been up to? Uh, mainly just, uh, cleaning, decorating, um, hanging out with the dogs. Of course, I have been having trouble with goose and his skin because he has allergies and so his skin is like I don't know he's having some kind of allergic reaction again for the 50 millionth time <laughs> so I've been having to bathe him in chlorhexidine and I've been giving him probiotics and all kinds of stuff so that's fun so he loves it. He's really, he actually really likes taking a bath. <laughs> and so last night I gave him a bath and he just jumped right into the tub 
and he's really good. He just, like, sits there, and then he lets me, like, put him in whatever position I need. You know, if I need him to, like, turn around, he just turns around. He's really good. His sister, on the other hand, <laughs> Scout, she's, like, good in every other scenario except for getting a bath. She does not like, and she's an absolute terror when it <laughs> comes to giving her a bath. She does not like it. She will not cooperate. She will not get in the bathtub. So usually I let my husband give her a bath. <laughs> she will not cooperate. I don't know why. Because she likes to swim. She likes water. But she just, when it comes to bath time, she's like, nope. No, thank you. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, but I'm hoping this shampoo that I got him will help. And I think it will. Actually, his skin already looks calmer <laughs> after using it, so. That's good. Yeah. Dogs, let me tell ya. I don't know, I swear with Goose, it is always something. I mean, I've told you guys lots of stories about his, like, just, it's always something with him. He's a very chaotic dog. <laughs> always something. And Scout, on the other hand, it's like, she never, I don't know, knock on wood, but, like, she never gets sick, she never gets hurt. <laughs> she's never needed surgery. She's just, she's just Scout. <laughs> so, I just, uh, I'm going to be having a live stream tonight. So I did set up this new recording area. So this is a different camera that I'm using. And hopefully you can hear me okay and everything. Hopefully it's not too wobbly. I always struggle with things being wobbly, I feel like. No matter what tripod I use, no matter what setup I use, I feel like the, it's always shaky. I will make sure when I edit this that you can hopefully hear me okay. But so I'll be using this setup for my live stream tonight. So I'm really hoping that it works out for that. <laughs> and then this weekend, I am going to be having a members only stream, which um, we've kind of, it's kind of become a ladies' night, which um, I do call it ladies' night, but. If men end up joining too, it, that really is okay. But it is um, typically a night where we get very silly. And if you want to have drinks, you can have drinks. And uh, we tend to get a lot more spicy <laughs> than the regular live stream. And, you know, play fun games and just get very silly. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to be doing that on Saturday, I think. Uh, I did ask the members if they, if they cared, whether it was Friday or Saturday, and nobody really minded either way, so I did set it up for Saturday, but if it ends up that people don't like that, then, uh, we can certainly change it. <laughs> uh, so we will, we shall see. So, I um, have had a couple of people ask about um, if they could send me stuff, and um, I do have a P.O. box that I have listed down below, um, so that is uh, down below. I feel a little bit weird saying it, because I'm not, like, asking people, to, I'm not asking people. <laughs> <laughs> to send me anything, but I've had a few people ask, and so, um, the P.O. Box is down below, um, so, but if you do send something, just let me know so that I know to go check the P.O. Box, um, so that it, uh, doesn't just sit there, um, because I don't go check it every day, so, but that is, uh, in the description down below. So, but I, I feel a little bit funny because I'm not asking people to send me anything, but 
if you ever did want to just like send me a letter or <laughs> something like that, it, it isn't there. Uh, it is a possibility to do so because I do have my my PO box down there. Uh, so yes. So thank you to the people that have asked about that. <laughs> Oh, I just thought of something else that I signed up for. <laughs> just going back to the subscription thing with like Silk and Sonder. But I also signed up for a uh, subscription box that is like a scrapbooking one. And it's called Grabby. I keep seeing it on TikTok. And so I'm supposed to get my first one in November. So we'll see if it's any good. And I'll definitely open it on, uh, do an unboxing on my channel and we'll see what's up with that because uh, I've never really done a subscription box like that before where it's like craft supplies so I'm kind of excited we'll see <laughs> uh, I don't know I don't know what has gotten me into this whole like junk journaling thing but I'm like obsessed now so I'll definitely show some of the stuff that I got on on my channel My throat is like very dry now all of a sudden because I started talking. Of course. <laughs> oh goodness. So I've been watching lots of scary movies recently, of course. Well, scary movies are my favorite. <laughs> and uh, you probably know that I watch them kind of all year round, but I definitely like to watch scary movies at this time of year. You know, right around uh, Halloween and all that. So this weekend we watched, or this, you know, this past weekend we watched, uh, uh, what was it called? The Tank, which it's about these people that move to this house on an island and it's got this weird water tank on the property. That was kind of a weird one. We watched... One called No One Will Save You, or No One Can Save You. I can't remember exactly what the title is, but uh, it was about aliens. That one was kind of weird, and that movie was weird because there's no actual dialogue. The whole movie is, like, silent. I mean, there's sound, but there's no speaking. There's no dialogue. Um, so it was a very strange one. I can't remember if that was on Netflix or Hulu. I'm pretty sure The Tank was on Hulu. No one will save you. I can't remember if that was on Hulu or Netflix. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of what else we watched. We watched The Purge recently, which... I don't know why I like that movie, but it is one of my favorite scary movies. I don't know. Uh... Oh, where did my tweezers go? I know I had a pair of tweezers sitting here. So I've been putting these little, uh, what are they called? They're like little gain, uh, fabric softener beads to cut down on static and I like them and they make my drills smell really good. <laughs> so I actually got that idea from Artsy Jane on uh, TikTok. Well, she's on Instagram too, but I saw her on TikTok doing that and I was like, oh, I'm going to do that too. It's a good idea. It's easier than the cutting up like little squares of dryer sheets. I finished the book, um, Fourth Wing, which I can't remember, I don't think I talked about that in my last Whip and Chat, I think it was on a live stream that I mentioned that I finished it, and wow, I was blown away by the ending of that book, so now I'm very, very excited for the next book in the series to come out, which I believe it's either November 4th or November 7th it comes out. And I've already pre-ordered it, so 
it's right around the corner and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like delivered to my house like that day that it comes out so I'm very excited about that and I'm obsessed I'm officially obsessed with fourth wing and then uh, so you know it's gonna be a series so whatever <laughs> comes after it I'm you know I'm gonna read because I'm obsessed now so I love it and oh you know what I was gonna mention too is so I know there's a lot of people that diamond paint that also like to read and it seems like a lot of us are into like the same kind of books keep your eyes open because there are a lot of free book events coming up so um, I think I talked about this before um, there was a stuff your Kindle and stuff your earbuds event um, I think back in September where you can get free books for your e-readers or free audiobooks well there's some coming up this week actually so on uh, well tomorrow so on the 27th for October 27th there's going to be one that is for uh, witchy themed books so um, books that are like based on witch type themes um, I will link it down below because I forget the exact name of the website but they will have a list of books that are free now, I'm not, like, endorsing any of the books because I don't know what they are yet. <laughs> I don't know if they're any good or anything like that, but, um, like, check out the website and see what you think if you're into those types of books, and I'll link it down below. And then on uh, the 31st, there's another one called Terrify Your... I think it's called Terrify Your Tablet. <laughs> um where you can get free um, either like thriller or like spooky or um, horror type books for your e-reader or tablet or whatever um, and I'll link that one down below so and again I'm not like necessarily endorsing any of the books because I don't even know what they are yet um, I don't know if they're any good or or what but I heard about these events on TikTok so I will link them down below. Uh, and they're free, so why not check them out? <laughs> so I will link, yeah, I will definitely link those down below. I, the last time they had the uh, Stuff Your Kindle day, I downloaded like so many books and like honestly, there's probably a lot of books that I'll just never read, but it's one of those things where I was like, well, they're free. I might as well <laughs> I might as well grab them because you never know. I might be bored one day and then just open my Kindle and be like, oh, what's this? And then read it and I, it might be great. So you never know. Uh, I'm in the middle of reading The X Hex, uh, which is a cute book. It's just a cute romance book about... Um, these witches that live in a place called Graves Glen and it's like a cute little Halloween that or <laughs> a cute little town that uh, is kind of like Halloween themed and uh, these two people dated at one time and then they broke up and she puts a spell on him like as a joke but then it's not so much a joke uh, and so it's all about that <laughs> <laughs> and what happens later on. And so yeah, so that's what I'm reading right now. And then I was listening to an audiobook by Karen Slaughter, and I've talked about it before, um, but I kind of haven't been listening to it just because I've had a lot of my, on my mind, and I haven't really been able to, like, listen to audiobooks right now just because, like, my mind keeps wandering um, so just haven't been in a place where I can listen to stuff. And same, like, with, like, YouTube. I'm really behind on YouTube because I just haven't been able to, like, listen to things and actually focus and pay attention. So, 
I've really mainly been listening to uh, the news, which is not great, honestly. So I'm going to knock that off and not listen to the news anymore because I feel like that's not really helping me. Um, but, and then I've been like listening to music a lot. Because those are kind of things that, like, you don't have to, like, super duper focus on. Um, they can just be on in the background, I guess, you know. But uh, I need to knock it off with listening to the news because the news just makes me feel anxious. <laughs> so I need to stop. And then, uh, obviously, music's fine. But um, I want to get back into listening to my audiobooks because I was really enjoying them. But then I felt like I couldn't pay attention and then I also want to get back into like listening to YouTube, watching other people's whooping chats and lives and stuff but I've just been having a really hard time like being present I guess <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it like sometimes like even when people are talking to me I feel like I'm not like able to super duper focus like my mind starts to wander and then I feel like a jerk, you know, I'm like not paying attention, uh, but just had a lot on my mind, I guess, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm, I feel myself coming out of that, so it's all good. I've been doing things to try to help myself with that. Uh, you know, going outside, walking the dogs, things like that. Diamond painting, <laughs> diamond painting helps. Journaling helps, uh, stuff like that, so, yeah. There was something else I was doing, oh, <laughs> um, there's a little game on my phone that I've been playing too that I feel has been, like, kind of helping me manage my anxiety. Um, <laughs> it's this cute little game, I don't know, it's kind of silly, it's this cute little game on my phone called June's Journey, and it's nothing, uh, it's nothing spectacular, but it's, like, this little game where you just, um, find, like, hidden objects in a picture, and then, uh, you also have, like, a little island that's your home, <laughs> and you can decorate the little island with decorations that you get from, the game from, like, uh, you know, like, you get points from playing the game, and then you, like, can buy little things to decorate your island, and it's so cute. I love it. I love games like that. Like, I love The Sims, and, uh, like, Animal Crossing, and, uh, what's the other one that I like? Um, Stardew Valley, where you get to, like, design and decorate like your little farm or your homestead or whatever or your your home uh I love games like that so I think that's why I like this game so I've been playing that on my phone and I feel like it helps me with my anxiety obviously because uh it just well it just kind of takes my mind off of things I guess <laughs> that's why it helps but yeah anyway <laughs> it might sound silly but I don't know I like it <laughs> So, I have not, uh, bought any new diamond paintings recently because I have been on a no-buy, and I'm just trying to make it through until Black Friday, so, but the ones they had on Diamond Art Club, anyway, for Halloween were so, so cute, but I've been seeing other companies coming out with some great ones, and I'm like, oh my goodness, but I'm gonna try to wait till... Black Friday. It's hard, I tell ya. I thought I had more of this symbol, but apparently not. <laughs> and I see one of the other symbol that I missed from before. Oh well. Oh, look, not the right here. Okay. It's like, I swear I thought I had more. I'm really enjoying this kit. I love the colors. 
And I'm telling you, I love those fairy dust diamonds. They're so beautiful. And they're so nice to work with. I get kind of sad. Like, I like to work with them. And then when I'm done with the section, I'm like, oh, I want to keep working with the fairy dust diamonds. <laughs> So let's do some of those right now. I'm going to bust those out. Let's see. I think K is a, uh, okay, yes. Fairy dust diamonds. They're so pretty. And I don't think you're going to be able to tell how pretty they are on this camera. But they're gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Oh no! <laughs> I still have some of the blue ones <laughs> from the previous color. Hang on. Oh boy. So I have not participated in any diamond painting events recently just because I just haven't been able to. Uh, but I kind of wish that I would have. <laughs> I wish I would have. I, you know, I like the all the Halloween themed ones that are going on and stuff like that. But okay, I love this like minty green color. It's so pretty. <laughs> I don't know, they're just so nice to work with these fairy dust. So it is actually pretty warm here right now for being the end of October. Uh, last night I actually had to get up and turn my air conditioning back on because it was about 74 degrees in the house and I was like I can't sleep like this. So I was actually really hot um, and I know Goose was hot too because he was like panting. He's like ah. <laughs> Goose and I are like the two that are like always hot and then my husband and Scout are like uh, are not <laughs> that way <laughs> so yeah I like had to yeah I had to it killed me I was like I gotta turn the air conditioning back on I can't sleep otherwise I don't know I like to be cold when I'm sleeping because then I can wrap up in my blankets <laughs> <laughs> but yeah today actually it looks like it's going to storm a bit um so hopefully it'll settle down and then I won't have to turn my air conditioning on again that was kind of crazy kind of crazy I think I like this uh, little setup better for filming. Uh, it's easier. It's easier for me to see what I'm doing because of the way that I have my camera set up. And it's also more comfortable. The way I had my tripod set up before was not that great. <laughs> it was kind of in the way of like I could well I don't know I just couldn't see what I was doing as well so it just seemed a little strange Hopefully you cannot hear my laptop fan because I do have that running <laughs> right next to me because uh, I'm trying to record like on my laptop so that I, it's a whole thing I won't explain it all because it's 
probably boring, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it works out. <laughs> it's a whole thing. Oh, goodness. So I do not have any big plans for the weekend other than I do have like the members live stream planned, which will be fun. Uh, but other than that, I just, I just want to watch movies and chill and work on resin crafts and diamond paint and read. And like, that's just what I want to do. <laughs> Not a very thrilling life, but hey, you know, that's what I like to do. I just think about like, I don't know, I have friends that still go out all the time and I'm just like mm. it just doesn't sound that fun to me I don't know I don't know I'm sure that like me staying at home and diamond painting doesn't sound like fun to them either though so you know it's like whatever uh floats your boat right <laughs> oh goodness these fairy dust diamonds are just so beautiful So I'm debating on whether or not I want to buy a Christmas uh, painting this year. I did buy one last year, which actually is not finished, so maybe I should just work on that one uh, <laughs> this year. Actually that's what I should do. I should just finish the one from last year and not worry about buying a new one. Uh, I don't know. Are you guys interested in buying? Any holiday themed paintings this year? I just, I don't know. I did see a really pretty one the other day. I think Brie was showing it on her live stream the other night. And I was like, that's honestly really pretty. But I don't know. The thing is, is that I just know that I won't finish it in time. <laughs> So that's why I'm like, I should just finish the one that I had last year that I didn't finish on time. <laughs> so, this green is just so gorgeous. Ah, I love it. I swear all of the trees in my yard have like dumped their leaves now. So we will probably spend either this weekend or the next week raking up leaves and all of that good stuff. So that's fun. <laughs> we have a lot of trees too. So we kind of live in a wooded area. So it's a lot to clean up, but... Okay. So it's really pretty when all of the trees turn uh, colors but then it looks so ugly once the leaves fall off I'm just like oh depressing <laughs> but then when it snows it looks beautiful <laughs> but I think I told you guys my husband went mad buying evergreens because he he's like I don't want to see dead trees I just want to see green <laughs> so he bought a ton of evergreen trees to plant <laughs> this is funny so I'm going to finish this color and then we will uh, draw some names for sparkle grams so if you're new to the channel and you're not sure what I'm talking about when I say sparkle gram uh, sparkle gram is kind of like telegram but sparkle gram and it's a uh, the friend mail that I do on this channel. So basically, if you want to sign up, you can. It's free to sign up. You just fill out the Google form that is down below. If you've already filled it out once, you don't have to fill it out again. So you fill out that form, 
and then every week I pick like something special for you to comment down below and then the next time I do I say every week but sometimes I miss a week so um, each time I do a whip and chat I will uh, pick something for you special to comment on down below and then the next time I do a whip and chat I will use a random comment picker to pick a random comment and then that person will get a sparkle gram and it's usually like a handmade item um, it's usually like a cover minder or like a trash minder like this and it's just a little something for me to say thank you for watching and liking and subscribing and all of that good stuff because I really do appreciate it um, YouTube is a really fun hobby for me and I'm just so thankful that people watch <laughs> and people like it and uh, it's really really cool and I'm really grateful for everybody that is here so that is what sparkle grams are so I think we're done oh no I see one more I think we're done with this color so I am going to go ahead and wrap it up I'm gonna move over to my computer and we will pull up sparkle grams and I will draw a winner for that so I'll see you in just a minute okay it's me I'm back <laughs> here is our previous whip and chat and let's see okay we're gonna grab our oops, we're gonna grab our wink from here we're gonna go to oh we're gonna go to our random comment picker and plug in the link here and then we're gonna solve our little math problem here and get to comments thank you so much everybody who commented on the last women chat i really really appreciate it and so we will use this to pick a sparkle gram winner who's it gonna be k savage <laughs> thank you so much k for commenting and she said hi lexi thank you for doing this whip and chat even though you're going through a lot at the moment i'm very sorry to hear you about your grandpa but you it always cuts off i swear it always cuts off the comment let's see what she said <laughs> Let's see. She said, Where is it? Okay, well, it's not going to show me the rest of her comment, apparently. <laughs> really? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, she said, but you do sound very depo very positive despite what you're going through. I'm not diamond painting at the moment as I'm making cards for my fr family and friends. Kay makes beautiful cards. Uh, she said, I love making cards, but I do miss diamond painting, lol. So many crafts in such a little time. I understand 100%. I sometimes wish I didn't have to sleep. Uh, me too. <laughs> she said, take care. Thank you so much, Kay. So I am going to draw one more name. Uh, because I missed last week, but also Kay has received a sparkle gram before. So uh, let's go ahead and pick somebody else as well so that more people get to share in the fun. So uh, we're going to pick another winner. And go. And go. Peggy Wood. <laughs> Congratulations, Peggy. And Peggy says, nice to hear from you. Take that overtime money. <laughs> and then you can buy more paintings. Exactly. <laughs> so many cute fall Halloween popping up right now. Yes, so true. Let's go see what, uh, what the rest of Peggy's comments was. <laughs> uh, let's see. I tell you, I don't know why this will not load. <laughs> Hello, hello. Alright, there we go. For some reason, it just doesn't want to load for some reason. 
And she says, have a good weekend coming up. Thank you so much, Peggy. So both Peggy and Kay will get a sparkle gram uh, this time around. So we will do another drawing for sparkle grams at the next whip and chat. So let's think of a good thing for you guys to comment. Uh, hmm, let's see. I've been thinking a lot about <laughs> like candy and Halloween candy. And I was talking about that delicious putty that Brie made that's Halloween or that's candy scented. So tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite candy? And if you don't eat candy, tell me what your favorite snack is. How about that? <laughs> so, alrighty. Thank you so much for joining in and listening to this whip and chat. I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you later. Bye.